and say you get a pet from each of the bosses, which I have done before on one of my characters, you could potentially be getting 40k for 5 minutes work. So What's up gaming heroes? Good to see you as always. Welcome back to another awesome World of Warcraft video. My name is Erosium, and today we're going to be killing three rare elites on every single one of my tunes that is sat in this area. It's really simple. It's a gold farm I actually learned originally from Dala GG. I, I just saw him him killing these and I thought I'd do it myself. And ever I, I didn't really know what you could even get from these. I just thought you got garrison resources. I was like, oh I I, I like that I like garrison resources. I am a fan of garrison resources. I I want those. So I went and killed them and then I found that these guys actually drop pets. Each one has a chance of dropping a different pet. They're not all the same pet. They, uh, they're they very similar, but they're all different. All three. So that's done. Let's just show you exactly where I am. So I'm in Nagrand, Warlords of Drenor, Nagrand. And the closest uh, flight point, I think, is this one. Rilt, Rilt sits, hold fast. But I tend to fly to, to uh, Rel's watch and uh, just fly here afterwards. I just literally log out straight from here and I go to my next character. These guys spawn so quickly, so it's super easy just to swap straight over to another character. And I just kill them each time. Log in, kill. And you can only do it once a day. So bear that in mind, guys. Once a day, you can kill these. So you can't spawn camp them. You can't chill. You know, and you gotta be level 50 and above. So what I've done is I've, I've just parked four level 50s here and we just kill them on each. Super easy. I love it. So, yeah, as you can see, I got Nagrand, 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 Nagrand. Oh, we got... F oh, no, it's because it's a level 43. I was trying to test out if you could do this on a character that was, like, lower than level 40. Um, uh, lower than level 50. But, unfortunately, you really can't. It, it does need to be level 50. Uh, just because of the scaling. And if you're kind of, like, in the, the Wall of Drenor campaign, like, the time campaign through Chromie, it, it just, it's too difficult. So we've logged in at this point and we just got to do the, the route backwards. Really simple. It's almost a straight line. I don't need to input it on the routes because you guys can just literally follow the straight line here. Uh, so if you go to the, the, the swampy bit that I was just in, you can just follow the straight line. If you want a add-on that will help you, just get NPC scan. NPC scan will scan these in and we'll show you exactly uh, what you need to do now these pets can go for all varieties of prices i will go onto arabos.exchange and have a look in just a second on some uh, some high pops some medium pops and some low pops so you can get a good kind of average as to how much these pets go for but considering it it's like five minutes of your life to log in and log out you know <laughs> once a day on however many characters you're doing this on it is really such an efficient gold farm and I've sold all my pets through and I keep selling them through they're so fun to just easily get in and then when you get yourself to 10,000 garrison resources take those garrison resources over to your trading post in your garrison and trade it for any and basically just look over the trades to see what is worth the most and buy that that material sell it on the auction house you get extra gold from that so that's exactly what I do. Let's kill it again. Lovely jubbly. And we just get loads of garrison resources. I've just cleared this guy's uh, garrison resources. And he's already getting absolutely tons back again. So we're on 1,400 just from killing these. And uh, every three days I go back to my garrison. And I collect my 500 resources just to make sure we're getting that as well. Fantastic. We haven't been lucky today. I've had it really... Quite a common occurrence recently, but today we haven't been as luckily, unfortunately. And he's up again. Do this on my Demon Hunter this time. We don't have very good gear on my Demon Hunter, to be honest. He's just a farmer. Down. Was it give us? No. No pet this time. This last one. I feel the pet. It's going to be there. Pet's coming from this last one. So it has a 10% drop rate from what I've noticed, these pets do, uh, because I have an add-on called Rarity, which basically tells you how many attempts you've had at a pet. And basically, it's said that it's 1 out of 10, which tells me it's a, about a 10% drop rate, these pets. So we've done it on four characters, we've just been unlucky, that's completely fine. So here are three of the pets that I've got previously and I'm waiting to sell. It's the Empowered Mana Fiend, 
and the energized mana fiend. There is one more. I just can't remember the, the name off the top of my head. We will go to Orobos.exchange. Playfist EU. Okay. And we will type in energized mana fiend. There we go. And it's saying that the average price is about 11,000 gold. Uh, just basic ones. Uh, there, there will be probably level one. one. Uh, they will probably be about level one. And it says the mean is 8,000 to 4,000. But realistic uh, sales are about 11,000 gold currently, which is pretty gosh darn good. What was the other one? The other one was Empowered Mana Fiend. Empowered. Empowered Mana Fiend. And this one's saying it's it's about 6,000 gold. Uh, and it is slowly but surely going down. I'm sure that as it, that is just a result of people farming it. We just look at Mana Fiend and we can find Imperial Mana Fiend. This one's more... This is the slightly more rare one I find and I, I've sold this the most. And this one goes for 14,000 gold. So simply just for logging in to a character for two minutes a day, you could potentially be earning this amount. And say you get a pet from each of the bosses, which I have done before on one of my characters, you could potentially be getting 40k for five minutes work. So realistically, this is a gold farm that you just cannot afford to be missing out on. Go ahead, get it done, get farming. I look forward to the competition and Okie dokie. So I have come to the trading post and I've got a lot of garrison resources, I believe, on this character. How much garrison resources have we got on this character? We have got 3,000 right now. And we're just going to go to the trader and figure out what is the best thing for us to buy. Now, it's not economical to be spending so much garrison resources per item. So we're going to go for an item that is worth 16. It's worth noting that these rotate every single day and will will eventually go down to 16 garrison resources each. Uh, so it's always worth waiting for a specific item on your server uh, that you could potentially be making gold from. Right now, it seems that the meats are the cheapest. So we might consider that, but I want to have a look at how much they are selling for. So the sale rate is 0 0.05, but 10 on my realm, which is pretty gosh darn amazing. Raw elk meat is 16, but the sale, sale price is really quite low. Uh, again, quite low for that sale price. Not interested in that. Rylak egg, again, really low. Uh, raw river beast meat, that's looking pretty good, actually. That's uh, 1.5 was which was the more expensive one this raw boar meat is looking really tasty and then raw cleft hoot meat is also quite expensive raw boar meat's doing the best i think we should go for that i've got an add-on called buy them all which allows me just to collect the maximum amount that i want i will buy 199 and we will stick that onto the auction house if i had 10,000 garrison resources which is quite a common occurrence for me given that i farm this every day uh, divide that by 16 equals 625 uh, raw boar meat at 4 gold a pop. So times 625 by 4 equals 2,500 gold straight off the bat. That is beautiful. I love that amount of gold. That is the type of gold that I like seeing, okay? So not only are you getting the pets, but you're also getting... Uh, various different materials. Now, if I if I were really trying to be a, a smarty pants, as I often am trying to be a smarty pants, I would be saving up my my full amount to get the true iron ore because true iron ore at sixteen garrison resources a pop. Uh, this is a little trick, by the way. So if you're going to buy true iron ore, obviously wait for these garrison resources for the cost. The trader changes every single day, so the cost will go to sixteen garrison resources eventually. When it's that, buy all of it. Don't sell it on the auction house, okay? Wait. Pull it in your bank. Leave it there until this changes back to 24 and above. When it changes back to 24 and above, that's when you can sell it on the auction house. Because at that point, the true iron ore would have fluctuated back up to the original price that you want it to be. So I've noticed, for example, when you this is on a 16 and I buy all my true iron ore and I try and sell it on the auction house, there's so many other people doing it that the value of true iron ore goes down. So what you're better off doing is waiting till the, the price of those garrison resources jumps back up and then you can sell those on the auction house. And it's saying here with this price as it is that you it's four gold minimum buyout at the second. I know that can go even higher. So let's just do the maths really quick on that. 
So what was it again? I can't remember. 10,000 garrison resources is the maximum you can have. Divided by 16 equals 625. Then times that by four. Was it four gold each? It's saying the re region sale average is five gold 31. So times that by 531 equals 3,318 gold. Now, obviously, times that by the amount of characters, say you're doing that on five characters, uh, you could potentially be earning 16,500, uh, you know, each time you do this. Um, so it's worth saving up those garrison resources and switching them into to resources from your garrison than selling them on the auction house. It just is extra gold to go along with your pets. So go ahead and get that done. Thank you very much for watching this video. I really hope that this video helped you. As you know that I am a huge fan of the garrison gold making and uh, that's something that I just do. As you can see, when you go down here, you can see all of my characters that are in garrisons right here. Lunafall, 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 Lunafall. They're just all garrison gold making. If you want to see a gold making series like that, I do have a playlist called the garrison gold making setup. And uh, you should go check that out. Thank you very much for watching. This is Rosie Mount, and I will see you next time.